Hey there, friends. I'm Dan, and this is Jamie and our little furry one, Cashew. Together, we are bussing on a budget. We snagged a big old fire crew bus from auction, and guess what we did with it? We turned it into our dream tiny home. One thing our truck doesn't have is a nice off-road light setup. Well, today, that's gonna change. This spot right here is where we're going to install our side LED light. This bracket will hold the LED light. First up, we need to drill a hole large enough for the bolt so that we can attach the bracket and then the LED light itself. Alrighty, so we've got the first light on. Uh, it looks pretty decent. That light is designed sort of as a secondary spotlight to eliminate the sides of the road. So I think next I'm gonna work on the larger light bar. I'm gonna see if I can reuse any of the existing holes and try and mount it on the front of the bumper. I installed the big light bar by using one existing hole and drilling one new one. With all three lights on, we should have full coverage in front of us and to the left and the right. The wiring for this job was pretty easy. It came with a pre-done kit. All I had to do was connect it to the 12 volt battery and then the lights themselves. Alrighty, apologies for the poor audio quality, but we got the light bars done. Everything is wired, everything is mounted. Uh, everything's pretty much good to go. So let's see what that looks like, huh? Pretty darn cool, huh? It definitely took a while, but we got that light bar finally installed. Let's see what it looks like. It's a little hard to tell from this shot, but with the lights on, it is almost daylight bright. We got the light bar fully installed took a little bit, got the wiring connected, got everything drilled, got it on the front, and I think it looks pretty snazzy. I tried it last night, and it's super bright. When we're out on the road, we should be able to see a lot more, should hopefully be able to see any deer, or maybe some nice camping spots that were on the side of the road that we couldn't before. Overall, for I think about $27 for this kit, it looks great, performs great, well worth the investment. So we're going to redo the solar wires, which means getting the tilting solar panel uh, set up again. Because after the winter, one of the bolts rusted a little bit, so took a little bit of pounding, getting up on the ladder to get that last pin out, but got all the pins out. Now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the solar panels and then we can rewire them with some thicker gauge, which might get us a bit more solar, panel, uh, solar power uh, from our panels. What you're looking at used to be the exhaust fan that came with our truck. I ran the wires through it and then covered it up with permabond roof tape to seal it. Now I've gotta take that all out and run some new wires through it. These new wires here are about two times as thick as the ones we have, which should give us more power. After pulling the roof panel to access the wires, you can see there's a tiny gap and we have to feed the wire above the cabinet through that gap. Alrighty, that is both wires through the previously 
done wire so we can now have some slightly thicker solar power wires. Today's video is a short and sweet one. So thank you for joining us if you're still here, and if you haven't subscribed, maybe consider it. From Bussin' on a Budget, thank you for watching, and have a great one.